A local health organization receives thousands of masks and another valuable tool in the fight against COVID-19. WGN's Jewel Hillary is live in Oak Park with details. Jewel. Hi, good afternoon. You also in January, the Biden administration started to distribute millions of N95 face masks to pharmacies and health centers across the nation. And here locally, PCC Community Wellness Center, which has locations all across Chicago land, not only received 10,000 of those face masks, but they also got their hands on a COVID fighting drug that's not well known yet. You're actually the first ones we're giving this to at this time. During their daughter Rory's appointment at PCC Community Wellness Center, Joe and Tiffany Martinelli were the first to receive free N95 masks supplied by the federal government. We need to uh, remain vigilant and keep our masks on for now so we could hopefully uh, defeat this. PCC has received a shipment of 10,000 N95 masks and about 900 COVID home test kits to pass out to patients and families. The health center is one of dozens dozens of health centers and pharmacies receiving the supplies from the Biden administration. We're really excited that we can give these test kits as well as the N95 masks to our patients and in a future, hopefully a community event once the supply catches up. As the state prepares to lift the indoor mask requirement in many spaces and numerous schools make masks optional, Dr. Paul Looning, PCC's chief medical officer, believes it's too soon to let masks go completely. Let's look at the indicators and when the numbers tell us that there's not as much COVID around there, then yes, then it makes sense to, to take off the masks indoors. While the masks are helpful, PCC has received another tool to help fight COVID. It's this drug called Paxlovid for high risk patients who are in the early stages of the COVID infection. While the pill is still pretty unheard of. People are unaware of the benefits of it or to even ask. Dr. Looning says the first patient he prescribed Paxlovid to felt better within 12 hours of taking the medication, which he says is about 88% effective in preventing hospitalization and death. We want to get the word out that there is a treatment. So we want people who test positive, even at home, to call us or to call their health care provider as soon as possible. Now, Dr. Looning says, unlike monoclonal antibodies, which also help patients fight COVID, Paxlovid seems to do a better job at combating the Omicron variant. For now, reporting live in Oak Park, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News.